Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to graph a system of quadratic inequalities. So we've done a previous video on how to graph a quadratic inequality, and so I'll link that in the cards right now. And essentially we're going to do that same process, but we're going to do it twice, because now we have a system, which means we have two equations, or excuse me, inequalities. Um, we could have more than that. In this video we're just going to deal with two quadratic inequalities. So step one, we're going to graph each inequality on the same coordinate plane. That's key, right? We want to make sure we graph these on the same coordinate plane. And then we're gonna choose a test point and check whether, um, check where to shade, right? So remember for a test point, the origin is the easiest test point to use because you're just plugging in zero, zero. Um, other than that, if your parabola goes through the origin, then I would just use some other point that has an X value of zero. So some other point that's on the Y axis. Once you figure out where your test point is true or false, that's gonna tell you where to shade. And we're gonna do that for both of these inequalities. And now the overlapping shading is where the solutions lie for our system, okay? So let's look at one example here for quadratic inequality systems. So our first one is y is greater than x squared minus four. So we're gonna go ahead and graph as if we were graphing y equals x squared minus four. So with this one, um, all there is is a vertical translation four units down of the parent function. So I know I have a point at zero, negative four. And then my other points, since there is no um, stretch or shrink, the relation of my other points of my parabola to my vertex is the same as my parent function. So I know I'm going out one and up one, and then I could go out two and up four, and I could draw my parabola like this. And we'll, we'll add um, our parabola in here, see if I can get it to stick, and I'll line it up with my, with my points as best as possible here. Okay, let me get it on the right side here. Okay, extend this left side up a little bit. All right, I think that's pretty good. And we'll put some arrows on the end of that. Now we go back to our symbol and it was just a greater than. So we're gonna tap on that and we're gonna change the style and we're gonna make that be a dashed parabola because it's not or equal to, so we wanna make it dashed. Now let's go with our origin as our test point. And so we're going to test in this inequality right here. So zero is greater than zero squared minus four. So zero is greater than negative four and that would be true, right? So because of that, we are going to shade inside of our parabola, okay? So see if I can get my shading to come up here. Uh, I think it's happening on the back side of my graph. This has happened before. So let's shade just, just on the inside here. And we'll shade with our, our navy blue color here, okay? So we get that shading going there and that'd be good. Okay, so now let's switch up our color and let's go with, mm, let's go with like a light blue, okay? And now we're gonna graph our second quadratic inequality. So we have, we're gonna graph it as y, that's not showing up very well. Let's go with maybe like a purple. Still not showing up very well. Um, well, let's do this in yellow and then we can go back and change it to blue for the graph. So we're gonna graph y equals negative x squared plus three x plus four. And so now we have this quadratic, it's in standard form, so we should identify the axis of symmetry first. So that's x is equal to opposite of b divided by 2a. So that's negative three over negative two, which would just be 1.5. So we'll add in our axis of symmetry at one and a half, which would be right here. Good. And we'll make that a dashed line. And we'll take this away in just a minute. That's just where our axis of symmetry is located. So now let's go back, see if I can do this blue. Yeah, that's fine. So now let's find where our um, vertex would be located. So by plugging in 1.5, so we have negative, and then we do 1.5 squared plus three times 1.5 plus four. So 1.5 squared would be negative, and this would be 2.25 plus, this would be 4.5 plus four. And so this would be negative 2.25 plus 8.5, and that's gonna give us a six point two five, I believe. Yes, 6.25. Okay, so now our vertex is gonna be located at one and a half comma 6.25. So not really ideal for graphing, but we can do it. So 6.25, so this would be seven. So let's just say somewhere around here. So now we know that our y-intercept is four. Um, and so we're gonna put a point at four on our y-axis. So it's kind of hard to see right now since I've got it shaded, but I know that this would be six, five and four, so it would be right there. And we could put a point right here. We reflect it on the other side of our 
axis of symmetry. So now we're going to draw our parabola going down here. Make sure I get it through my points. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe out a little bit more here. Okay. Now we'll put our arrows on the end of this one. Now for this one, we have a less than or equal to, so we're going to leave it solid. So now let's take our test point. We can do the origin again. And now we're going to plug it into y is less than or equal to negative x squared plus 3x plus 4. So 0 is less than or equal to negative 0 squared plus 3 times 0 plus 4. So 0 is less than or equal to 4, right? And that would also be true. So we're going to shade inside this parabola as well. So if I shade in here, this would I would shade this entire parabola, right? Or under this parabola. And so now our solutions are going to be where the shading has overlapped, right? So if we see, we have this section right here where the shading has overlapped, right? Inside both of these parabolas, right? I'm staying inside my parabola that's opening up right there on the right side, and I'm staying inside the parabola that opens down towards the left side. So this yellow section here would be our where, where our solutions lie. So we could essentially erase both of these parts and we just have that yellow section where the shading had overlapped, and that would be this, the solution to this system of quadratic inequalities.